Hello, it's Chef here at the Sun Valley Auto Club, and I'm taking a look at the underside of this 1967 Chevrolet Corvette. This is the Goodwood Green, and that is the uh, color it came out of the factory with. It does have the uh, saddle uh, vinyl interior. This is the numbers matching. It is a numbers matching car. Uh, it's the 327, 350 horsepower with the uh, four speed manual transmission. Nice thing about this car is it's very, very original and uh, we know a lot about its history. We've had this car stored here along with uh, sales, service, detailing, we also do storage. So uh, this client has used all the different avenues of uh, the auto club here. So well kept, it's driven in the summertime. And then we've got a stack of service records showing that uh, anytime anything is up with it, he gets it uh, addressed as well. So this is not a rig that's just been uh, tucked away in a storage barn, not used, not driven. This one gets out and we'll take a look. You see those bushings are new and in good shape. Spare tire holder in effect. Mufflers are in good shape. One thing to note too is, you probably saw the uh, walk around video, but the fiberglass, and of course the cracks just show up on the top side, but no cracking of the fiberglass. And we'll get in through here, let's see if we can see those bonding strips. You can see that ridge right there. The tire might get in the way a little bit. That's probably a better view right there. They're intact in all four corners without any sort of patching, etc. So that's another, just a telltale that uh, this one's never been abused. Certainly can't pull Carfax on it, but those bonding strips let you know that that's factory and it's never been hit. There's the bonding strip going all the way back there. So nice and clean. Just a good telltale sign. Of course, disc brakes all the way around. I'll get towards the back and bring us up. But uh, you're gonna see some scratching. Where's a good spot? Yeah, behind the rear wheels. So a little bit of peppering there. This was paint, it's had one repaint. It's not original paint, one repaint. And that was done quite a while ago. But the car does not fall apart down low either. Good chrome. That's more bugs right there than scratches. But so good view of the car going down. Seen from photos, all of your, all your door gaps are in good shape as well. So getting back here, rear suspension, rear discs, all looking good. Certainly no rust on the frame. That's a weak spot right there. And you just don't see any swelling in those welds. Or any of these plates or the screws are really, really clean. You do see patina on this original part of the exhaust. I don't know actually if that exhaust is original, but it's certainly been on there a lot longer than the mufflers in that back piece there. Another good look up and through there. So really clean as far as any corrosion goes. Transmission, underside of the engine. Once again, all your rubber bushings are, are greased. And they're 
fresh and not cracked out. Brake line looks good. No damage or scrapes you can see anywhere on your front suspension. So it certainly hasn't been abused as at all. So there's a look at the underside. Really matches the original condition of the top side and the interior and the excellent body on this one. Excellent tires. Love the hubcaps and the beauty rings on those steel wheels. So this is Shep, Sun Valley Auto Club. I can be reached at 208-721-1973. Once again, that's 208-721-1973. Give me a shout on this one. I appreciate you watching the video.